Open your book to page 82 and let's go to number 42. Number 42, you have the coordinate uh, 1, 1 and you want to find the exact value of all six trigonometric functions. So first you need to plot that point. So 1, 1 is over here. So you draw that. So And then after, after you get your triangle, then get the three sides and then from there you can write the functions. So sine theta equal to this over that, so it would be 1 over square root of 2. So this would be equal to square root of 2 over 2. Cosine theta is this one over this, so it would be 1 over square root of 2. Again, same thing. Then you got tangent theta. Tangent is sine over cosine, so it's vertical over horizontal, so it would be 1 over 1, so it give you 1. And after you get the three primary, you can get the secondary. So the inverse of sine is cosecant. So you just flip it over. So flip this one over. Don't flip this one over because you end up have to uh, simplify. So this one, you flip it over, you get square root of 2. And then you have secant. Again, flip this one over, you get square root of 2. And then cotangent, flip it over, you get 1. Okay, so that's number 42. Let's go to 44. You have negative 1 square root of 3. So the way to draw that is, this is the x, right? So you, you just go, so that you're negative 1. Now, this is about 1.7, so it's, it's longer. So just make it a little bit longer than that. So this is, so if this is 1 and this is 1.7, so you draw that. And so you might want to re relabel your numbers at different places, just make it nicer. And so this would be 2. So based on this picture, you can get your functions. So sine is vertical over hypotenuse, so equal to square root of 3 over 2. Cosine is this one over that, so it would be negative 1 over 2. And tangent theta equal to sine over cosine, so it's vertical over horizontal, be negative square root of 3. So it's square root of 3 over negative 1, so you get that. And, and then you have the cosecant. You flip it over, so you got 2 over square root of 3, so equal to 2 square root of 3 over 3. And you have the secant, so you flip it over, you get negative 2. And then you have cotangent, flip it over, you got negative 1 over square root of 3. You simplify that, so negative square root of 3 over 3. Okay, so that's number 44. Let's go to number 46. Number 46, you got sine theta is greater than 0, and you want to figure out what quadrant uh, this, uh, this must be in. So sine is vertical, and vertical is greater than 0 means sine is positive. Right? So again, that's this one over here. Okay. So in this case, it will be quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. Okay. Let's go to number 48. Number 48, you have cotangent theta is greater than 0. So cotangent came from tangent, right? So when you draw that, so cotangent and tangent have to do with slope. So slope is greater than 0 means it's positive, so it means it's going to go this way like that. Okay? And therefore, this is quadrant 1 and 3. Okay, so quantum 1 and 3. Number 50, you have cosecant theta is greater than 0. Cosecant came from sine. So cosecant came from sine. So if cosecant is greater than 0, it means sine would be greater than 0. And sine is the vertical. Okay, so it would be this one and this one here. So sine, again, is vertical. It's these two parts over here. So this will be quadrant 1 and 2. Okay, let's go to number 52. Yeah, cosine theta is less than 0. So cosine is a horizontal. So horizontal is less than 0 means it's negative. So you're going to have this triangle and this triangle here. So that's this one right over here. Right? Cosine is horizontal and it's less than 0, so it's over here. 
So in this case, that's your quadrant two and quadrant three. Okay, let's go to 54. You have tangent theta is less than zero. So again, tangent and cotangent have to do with slope. So slope is negative, so it's going to go this way, right, going down. So in this case, we're quadrant two and quadrant four. Okay, let's go to 56. You have secant of theta is less than zero. Secant came from cosine. Okay, so it came from cosine. So you can you know, think of it as a cosine. So cosine is negative, so you're gonna have this one here. And so you're gonna get triangle here and triangle here. So you're gonna get quadrant two and quadrant three. Okay, let's go to 58. Okay, number 58, you got cosine theta is equal to negative one over two, and cotangent theta is greater than zero. Okay, so cotangent how to do with slope, right? Again, this is slope. And cosine is horizontal, right? So I'm going to use this one first. So cosine is, uh, cotangent is greater than zero, it's positive. That means it's going to go this way. So you got two of them. And cosine is negative. So that means cosine the horizontal is negative. So that means this one is out. Okay? Then you're going to put in a number to get all three sides. So cosine is negative 1 over 2, so it'd be negative 1 over 2. So use your Pythagorean theorem, or uh, this would be square root of 3, use your spatial triangle. Now, if you have to notice that the, the, the proportion is kind of messed up, so if you have to, you can redraw, you, you can redraw the, the triangle, make it a little bit better. So if you want to, you can erase and draw it better so that you get the correct proportion. So it'd be negative 1, negative square root of 3 over 2. So now you can write the, the functions. Okay, so you got sine theta, cosine theta. Even the cosine is giving already, but just write it down anyway. And get them all together. So sine, sine is vertical over hypotenuse, so it'd be negative square root of three over two. Cosine is horizontal over hypotenuse, so it's negative one over two, which is the giving, right? And tangent is sine over cosine, so it's this over that, so it gives you square root of three, right? It's, it's sine over cosine. And once you get your primary, you can get your secondary. So your secondary, cosecant theta, you flip this upside down, so negative two over square root of three, so you go to negative two square root of three over three. And then you have the secant, you flip this upside down, so you got negative two. And you have the cotangent, you flip this upside down, you get one over square root of three, you simplify, you get square root of three over three. Okay, okay let's go to number 60. Number 60, you have cosecant of theta equal to square root of five, and cosine theta is less than zero. Now, if you don't feel comfortable deal with secondary function, you can convert. So cosecant came from sine. So sine theta would be one over square root of five. So you can do that. Make so, so it's a little bit easier to do. So now when you draw your triangle, okay, cosine is less than zero. That means from here, you're gonna get this two triangle, right? Cosine is negative, so it's, it's over here. Then after that, you can refine. So sine is positive. Sine is positive means this one here, so that means this bottom one is no good. Okay, so this one is no good. So now you can put in the numbers. So sine is one over square root of five, so this is one square root of five. Then use your particular theorem, this would be a two, and it's negative. Okay, so from here, you can go ahead and write out your functions. So sine theta, cosine theta, uh, tangent theta. So sine, is vertical over hypotenuse, so it would be one over square root of five, so equal to square root of five over five. Cosine 
is the horizontal of hypotenuse will be equal to negative 2 over square root of 5 so equal to negative 2 square root of 5 over 5 tangent is sine over cosine so it will be this over so it will be vertical over horizontal so it will give you negative 1 over 2 then from here you can get the second theory so cosecant theta now don't flip this one over if you flip this over then you have to simplify so flip this one over then you get square root of 5 then you're done okay now secant theta again flip this one over not this one because this one is, when you flip it over you have to again waste time to simplify so this one you flip it over you get negative square root of 5 over 2 then cotangent you flip this over you get negative 2 okay. and that's it for number uh, 60